Hey, it's Paul here on the Friendly Viewer. In this video, we're gonna take a look at three augmented reality apps for the new iPhones. As the processing power keeps getting better and the sensors keep getting better, it's allowed programmers to do more and more with these phones. We're gonna take a look at a game, a shopping app, and a tool. Before we begin though, make sure to subscribe so you can watch more videos just like this one and also check out the description so you can find links to these apps. Now let's get into the apps. AR Sports Basketball is a great app to show off the augmented reality capability of the new iPhones. You can pick from normal mode, time attack, horse, or around the world. And in each one, you can pick either a desk size or real life size basketball hoop. The desk size version works pretty well in smaller areas, and you can see that it, the basketball hoop stays pretty well locked onto the ground. You can also put it on a table and play with it that way. Now the real life size one gets pretty crowded inside and sometimes you just can't stand far enough away from it. So I crashed my nephew's birthday party to try it out in the gym. Although it wasn't up to a regulation 10 foot height, it did work pretty well. It stuck to the ground very well. It looks like the basketballs are bouncing all over the place on the actual gym floor. I was really impressed with this app, so give it a shot. It's a great way to show off the augmented reality capabilities. For shopping, I was impressed with the IKEA Place app. You can choose from different furniture and place them in your room. You could rotate them, you can move them around, and it worked very well. The app tracked the room, it looks like the items were stuck to the ground, and it looks like an actually very useful app to figure out where you want to put your furniture, what you want to buy before you actually purchase it. Using augmented reality as a tool, the Measure Kit app allows you to make measurements. This definitely isn't going to be good enough for finished carpentry, but it's going to give you a really good estimate if you don't have a tape measure with you. You can see with this piece of paper that it was pretty close to 8.5 by 11. If you pay money, you could also unlock other tools to view angles, level, height, and space via cube. So these apps are pretty solid and I'm very interested to see what the future will bring. This has been Paul with three augmented reality apps. Thank you for watching.